question. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how the some of the science behind this because uh, I get I get people every now and then saying there's no science to this. This is all metaphysical nonsense. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and I'm going to clear up some things about how these these long range uh, locators work. Um, you know, I I always tell people, look, if these things didn't work and they didn't do anything, nobody, uh, everybody, the people selling these would be out of business a long time ago. There wouldn't be any reported fines. There wouldn't be uh, videos. You can go. You can go on uh, on YouTube and you can see customers finding coins showing you, uh, you know, pretty pretty clearly that not even knowing where these things are and and my instruments uh, guiding getting signal lines on these targets and and uncovering these coins and stuff like that. So I want I'm going to talk a little bit about that in, 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 for a few minutes and uh, clear out some clear up some of the misconceptions about how these things are working and the science behind them. Okay, so in this final section of this uh, demonstration uh, presentation uh, video today, I want to talk a little bit about, kind of touch on how this uh, long-range locating technology works. You know, I get, I get a lot of people that uh, email me and say, you know, I'm having a hard time believing in any of this uh, long-range stuff. The gold has some mystical, magical energy around it, and these things can pull to them in some mysterious way, and it's kind of like some mysterious force, so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to touch a little bit about this. And I'm just going to ask that you open your mind a little and uh, expand your horizons a little and uh, just be open to what I'm about to say here. I'm no scientist. I'm not a physicist. But I've done a lot of research into this to find some type of scientific uh, evidence, a background of how, you know, to, to kind of explain to people how this technology works. And in a nutshell, I'm going to try and give you the shortened version because we could, I could talk about this for an hour. The best uh, analogy that I could give for the skeptics of how these uh, TFR rods are working and some of the other long-range locators on the market, the, the TFR rods specifically are working with uh, radio type frequencies in the kilohertz and millihertz range. I can't give out the numbers uh, for obvious reasons, but imagine the TFR rod as a broadcaster and a receiver of radio signals. Okay, now what do radio signals have to do with gold and silver? I'll give you an example, I'll explain it to you. Gold and silver, all metals, all minerals, rocks, trees, dirt. Uh, wood, uh, just about anything you can think of has a resonant frequency, vibrational frequency to it. It's, it's vibrating at a certain frequency, at a particular numerical frequency. So the broadcast frequencies that we are using in the TFR rods resonate with those particular frequencies of gold and silver and other minerals, whatever you're, whatever you're placing in the, the sample chamber here. So it's kind of working like a little, imagine a TFR rod is a little radio broadcast tower. It's sending out these signals through the air. And when it finds that same exact frequency match, it resonates with it. It creates an attraction. It creates a pull on the antenna. It's a very, it's a small pull. If it's a large, large treasure, the pull will be even stronger. It creates an attraction, kind of like magnets are attracted to each other, right? What's creating the attractive forces and magnets? The TFR rods are not, are working, are working similar to magnets, but it's not a magnetic attraction. It's something similar. So how does a radio 
You could have a small AM radio in your pocket. How does it pick up on that radio station through the air? How is it attracted to it? It's, it, it's picking up that station. You, miles. I mean, the bigger the radio tower, the farther away the, the radio, the radios will pick up on the stations. It's the same principle. And I have people say to me, yeah, well, how does this thing penetrate? You said it'll penetrate a rock and it'll go in the dirt and it'll penetrate a mountain and you can find gold on the other side of a mountain, so on and so forth. And, you, and I, I just can't wrap my mind around how this thing can have any kind of attractive pull to, th to targets that are miles away, you know, because the TFR rods, uh, especially this version right here, the extreme version, it'll hit a, it'll hit a pound uh, of gold or silver at, at almost two miles range. But how is that possible? How can it penetrate the ground? How can it penetrate the rocks, the signals? Okay, getting back to, this, to the radios. You could be in a building, a concrete building, with steel all around you, and you're picking up that radio station. You got that radio frequency dialed in just right, and you get the static out of the way, you can pick up that station perfectly. Now, how is that radio signal penetrating uh, thousands, millions of pounds of concrete and steel to get to that little radio, that little antenna? Same principle. These signals on these buried targets are also coming to the surface of the ground. And the TFR rods are picking up on those signals coming to the surface. They are also penetrating the ground. So that would be one of the best ways that I can explain this, uh, how this is working. All matter is really energy. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not a physicist, but I have studied some of this. I've researched this. The, uh, Albert Einstein, uh, everyone knows who that is, said that everything is vibration. What is he talking about? What does he mean by that? All matter vibrates has a resonant frequency, vibrates at a particular rate that has to do with the atomic structure of matter, how the atoms, the protons and the neutrons are all working together, how the atoms are vibrating, and uh, you, you, scientists are getting into, this, can all, this also gets into quantum physics, where they're finding particles smaller than atoms. Basically, in a nutshell, what Einstein is saying Everything is vibration. So, so in, a, in, rea in other words, all matter, steel, rocks, concrete, wood, everything is really just condensed energy fields that have to do with how fast atoms are vibrating and, and, and making, up, making up that uh, particular vibration. Everything has a vibration to it. So, so for those people that say that that's, a, that that's crap, the gold doesn't have some mystical energy, you're wrong. Study, get into what Einstein talked about. Get into the atomic structure of matter. Uh, the structure of matter, it's all really energy. What is, it, what is matter made up of? Atoms, protons, neutrons, spinning around the nucleus of the atom and all that. It's all really energy. Okay, so if that's true, which it's... It's been, it, that's been uh, established already by the scientific community and the f physicists and, and Einstein and all these other great minds, then yes, gold, silver, and other metals and minerals do have an energy field to them. Um, how do metal detectors pick up uh, on targets deeper in the ground than they do an air test? Why is that? Standard metal detectors. I'm not even talking about long-range locators. Because metals in the ground have an energy field around them that starts interacting with the, the mineralization in the ground and that energy field, that aura, that electrostatic field starts building up stronger and stronger over time in the ground. Metal detectors go deeper on buried targets than they do in air testing. That's a known fact and it has to do with that energy field that I'm talking about. Okay, so you, you, you kind of just have to open your mind. And, and here's another thing I wanted to mention. The TFR rods are using very powerful crystals. One of the main crystals we are using, I can mention it. It's not the, it's not the only crystal. 
It's not the real powerful one, but one of the ingredients is quartz. Quartz crystals. Let's talk about quartz crystals real quick because we're running out of time here. And I don't want to stretch this into a long, long conversation. Right. Quartz. Quartz crystals are used. Now, you can do your own research into this. I'm not making this stuff up. This is all known science. Okay? It's known. Quartz crystals are used in electronic circuit boards. They're used in everyday types of electronics. Televisions. Quartz are used in radios. Why are quartz crystals used in televisions and radios and circuit boards and certain and particular electronics components? Why? Because they store and transmit energy. They're amplifiers of energy. The quartz that's in the TFR rods is amplifying the frequencies that we are using. It's amplifying the signals, those output frequencies that I was mentioning earlier. Have you ever seen those clocks that are in medical clinics, um, schools, uh, supermarkets, different types of businesses, the dentist office? You've all seen those big clocks that say quartz on them, right? Why do they say quartz on them? What is that about? Why is there quartz crystal if all of this is some kind of metaphysical mumbo-jumbo nonsense that I'm talking about? Why are they using quartz in clocks? Because the quartz amplifies the power. The ba it amplifies the out the quartz amplifies the battery's output. The batteries that are in the clock. You ask some of these people, when's the last time someone changed the batteries in that clock? that says quartz, it's on the wall. Nobody can remember because it's been like five years. Because the quartz crystals are like a little mini a miniature alternator in there that's keeping that freaking battery, they're keeping those batteries charged, it's keeping it going. You've all seen wristwatches that say quartz on them, right? Who hasn't seen a wristwatch that says quartz on it? Why is there a quartz crystal in a wristwatch? Same thing. It makes the batteries last for years. So I will conclude that topic with, with, with that final uh, uh, mentioning of the quartz crystals.